same sounds coming through the phone. Go on, take a shot, man. Hey, put the fucking bat down. What? You almost clocked Maya in the head. <laughs> put the fucking bat down now. Dude, it's not hurting anybody. I'll just put the bat down. No, man, I can't watch the game. I'm gonna swing the bat, all right? I told you, put it down. Sit. What's the matter with you? You could hurt somebody. Why are you looking at me like that? Stop it. You almost fucking killed my wife. Sit down. Dude, what is wrong with you? You almost fucked my wife. What did you just say? <laughs> you almost fucking hit her in the head. Okay, 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 boys. Just relax. Lewis, take a seat. I'm not sitting down. This is my house. You guys are my guests. You're watching my TV. You're drinking my beer. This is my baseball bat. That's my wife. You almost yes, hit. Yes, I think maybe. Take a shower, baby. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what side of the world you're in. I'm Half-Life Sister, and this is my Hubble Wolf King. Hey, everybody. Welcome to my channel and to another episode of Sister and the Wolf Reaction. We're What's poppin', baby? Oh, actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the newest song. What's poppin'? What's yes. poppin', baby? What's poppin'? Oh, oh baby. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we have a request. Half-Life.com for the merch. Yes, Half-Life.com for the merch. We're twinsies. We're twinning. Yes, we are. This Support us on Patreon if you're not doing so already. <laughs> my Unity Wings. Series. Indeed. Now you can get into it. Now you can Sense get into of it. noise. Sense of noise, yes. Hi, babies. Specifically, hi, Nip. Greetings. <laughs> this, this is our is second song talking. from Sense of Noise. Yes, the first one you guys can find on our Patreon. Indeed. Mexican melodic death metal. Even. Yes, these brothers are really good. They're, they're brilliant, I think. Just to recap, for those who didn't see that video, on vocals we've got Jerome, we've got Barton drums, Fede on guitar and vocals, Diego on bass, and Nib on keys. And I should point out that this was in fact requested by Sense of Noise, yes, and Nib gave us the introduction to this song and some background on it. So he says, what can I tell you about this track? Lyrics deal with the inner wars you have to fight in your life, mm -hmm. how hard and dramatic it can be. Somehow the harsh vocal sections in the song can be interpreted as a play between the voices inside your head and the you trying to shut them down. That's an interesting take. That is very interesting. I always, I always see that when, when there are uh, harsh and cleans, particularly with melodic metal, because it tends to be a, it, it does have this kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? Like um, a dichotomy? No, no, no. Just the, the, the songs themselves, particularly like with Insomnium, they're kind of introspective. Yeah. And when you have those dual vocals, I can see yes, how that can be kind yes, of like yes. an inner voice versus outer voice, uh -huh, right? Because uh -huh, right. there, like you said, there is a dichotomy between yes, the two vocals. Of course, right. And one would think that they would clash with each other, but they uh -huh. complement each other it very does, well. It always, absolutely, absolutely. And thinking about it from this perspective is kind of interesting. Thank you for that. Yeah. The chorus, sung in cleans, kind of depicts a general suffering of these inner wars. Mm -hmm. In Sense of Noise, we talk about life on an honest but optimistic way. Mm -hmm. The song is called Zero Kill because you did not lose the fight, you are still alive. Beautiful. We invited Bjorn from Soil Work. Bjorn is there to make guest vocals, not only because he is an astonishing singer, but because he added another voice to the track, which goes very well with the concept. He is also a singer we admire a lot on soil work and is one of our biggest influences. Wonderful, okay. For the video, we tried to depict this concept the best we could. We had a couple of real actors to perform, so but we cool. have a twist, adding a TV to the plot, which apparently doesn't make sense at the beginning, but later it completely does. Really? As a viewer, the lyrics, concept, and video may be kind of unclear if you don't have this kind of explanation, but that is because we want the fans and listeners to think about it analyze 
connect the dots, and even to make the lyrics, song, concept their own interpretation. I love that. Something I, I tend to do a lot. Sometimes I'm completely off Most on some of these songs. Most people do that, yes. <laughs> After all, that is what music is about, exactly. making it yours. Yes, baby, yes. Indeed. The most egregious <clears throat> one I did, I remember, was uh, Pain of Salvation. Hmm. Accelerator. I got that song completely wrong. Really? <laughs> but the fun thing is, that song really could be interpreted the way I interpreted it. Gotcha, gotcha. It didn't happen to be why Daniel wrote it, but, uh -huh, uh -huh. you know, songs like that are interesting because when the artist wants you to do that sometimes, then it's fun because you have all these different interpretations of right, these songs. Right. But because the, the lyrics are so meaningful, you can still garner these interpretations. Right, right, right. The song is fierce and dramatic, and for the haunting cover artwork, we added a Mayan ancient deity called yeah, okay. Kamazot. The Kamazot is the Mayan bat god, which is associated with the night and the underworld. Zatziloha was the name of a cave inhabited by the Kamazots, a monster with a roughly humanoid body, the head of a bat, and a nose that resembled a flint knife. So cool. Creepy. I know. Which was related to war by ancient civilizations. Wow. Good job with reading, babe. Got it with my vocals. We like to add this kind of detail from our culture to our songs. Hopes this helps. I think that's important. You know, we did Bloody Wood. Yes. And that's, you know, adding, you know, if you're from India, if you're from Mexico, adding yeah. adding certain elements of your culture into it, I think, is what makes you stand out and makes you unique. I agree. Hope this helps. We keep in touch. We will keep in touch. You Thank better. you so much for your support. Thank, Thank you, you baby, like we said yes. in the other reaction, for thinking of us I to know. do your song. Yeah, and you came back. You stayed with us, actually, for another month. And I'm looking forward Stick around, okay? to more Sense of Noise. And I, I know. I, I wish you guys the absolute best. And success, yes, my love, yes. Absolute best.
Okay. <laughs> there you have it. Okay, he said it was going to be clear at the end about the TV, but I honestly, I missed it. Wow. Good focus, uh, you know. Good focus, baby. And Bjorn. 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 You know. What like, a good taste. Like Bjorn say. Yeah, his voice was a really good touch. I get I get why you guys wanted him. He, he made a lot of sense. I love it. Yeah, he's, he's a good singer. Huh, and the drama. The Ooh, baby. You did that. <laughs> good job on the drums. So forward, I loved it. I love the energy of this song. I love the energy. The video was good too. It's cool. I love how the actors at the end, they really started participating in being, you know, being in the moment of the, of the song. It was really beautiful. Yeah, this was a good solid song. Yes, it was. Very well produced. Yeah, very well produced indeed. I found the lyrics on their uh, YouTube video. Link in the description to their YouTube video, by the way, and their channel, so you guys can check them out. Come out blindfolded by the lies, the pain, the suffering, the hate I see in your eyes. Just stop. Won't listen to fake cries. You are a kingless pawn, a liar in a cheap disguise. Hit me, just hit me. The stronger I become, running from you, I won't kill to survive. I like this line. Read it again, please. Hit me, just hit me. The stronger I become. So what doesn't kill us makes us stronger, right? Yeah. But I like this line. I won't kill to survive. I won't kill to survive. Okay. Right. Because okay. the idea behind that, to me anyway, is kind of philosophical in the sense that I'm not going to stoop to your level. Uh huh. And the best analogy I can come up Rising with above. is financial. Um, financial? Yeah, because you can become rich in this world. You can become a CEO. You can become, you can start a business and stuff. You can make money very quickly and even more quickly if you're immoral. If you of don't course. care, if you're willing to do what it takes to get rich, right? Gotcha, so, gotcha. so a corporation that has, for example, a CEO that is making millions and hundreds of millions of dollars, and their employees can barely, you know, scrap together a paycheck, that's kind of the idea of what I'm talking about. Like, if I was a CEO, I would take less money for myself if it meant make, giving more money to my employees. Mm -hmm. Like that's just the person I am. So right. that idea that I, I won't kill to survive, I won't, I will do the best I can to make it in this world. But as the great meatloaf has said, I won't do that. There's a line there. There's a line I won't cross to where I won't do that if that's what's necessary. If you're telling me what's necessary is to climb on the backs of others to get yeah, to where I am, yeah, yeah. then I'm just gonna, I'm good where I'm at. Exactly. You get what I'm saying? Exactly. So hit me, just hit me. The stronger I become running from you, this war, and I've said this about war plenty of times, mm. and you all can think what you want, but war is dumb. It's so garbage. I would never go and fight in a war. They'll make you. Now, that, that's fine. I'll go to jail. I'm, I'm, I'll be one of those guys because, first of all, the person telling me to go to war is not willing to fight. And, and all that aside, I'm not going to get too deep into this. All I'm saying is that I cannot be a part of the irrational. And if people are irrational, that's fine. I can't be a part of it. And whatever price I have to pay for that, that's the price I have to pay. Mm. Now, that's very different than self-defense. I'll defend myself all day long. If there's a situation where we are being attacked, then yes. Mm -hmm. I will defend myself, but I will not invade a country. I will not do what we've done in the Gulf and all these wars where there was no, uh, what were we even there for? We didn't yeah. even know. Like we're pulling out because there is no victory. Exactly. If you don't know what you're fighting for, or where the victory is, why are we even there? And the people don't want you there. So stuff like that, I just, I just can't be a part I agree. of. Deceived after all this time, keep running just to stay behind. I'm dying to feel alive. The clock keeps ticking, but I can't die interesting lyric there step down go down stay down just stay down that's that's the inner voice yeah, right yeah 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 google inner self what does the inner shadow mean because I, I mean that, that when you explained it to me before but i think that this whole thing is a person that's having a monologue or a dialogue mm -hmm. or inner turmoil with their shadow self the shadow is a side of your personality that contains all the parts of yourself that you don't want to admit to having. It is at first an unconscious side. It is only through effort to become self-aware that we recognize our shadow. So I'm just wondering if this entire song is a person that is battling with their shadow self. Doubt, right? Yeah. Like self-doubt, right? Uh -huh. Because the next line is, come out, the truth is coming back. I can right. see clearly now, the fear is setting in your eyes, don't yeah. hide. Behind that filthy mask, the okay. mirror doesn't lie. The end is coming early for the kill. Gotcha, gotcha. 
So here it's like you've got you you've got a, this dynamic of there's an oppressor, right? Right, and then you've got the clapback. You know, the truth is coming back. I can see clearly now the fear is sitting in your eyes because now the person sees that you're seeing through their bullshit, uh-huh. right? And that you, they're not affected. And I mean, this could literally be an analogous for anything, anything. An, an abusive parent, That's right? True, At yeah. some point where the child gets fed up with the abuse or something, or maybe they've grown older and stuff and they see through their bullshit. Right. Um, that's some personal, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm saying something personal because I had a similar situation to that with my, uh, my, my stepdad. So there was a moment where uh, I, I lost all respect for him. I grew up and he laid his hands on me one last time and I turned back, I looked at him, he looked at me and he kind of knew that I was kind of done with his shit and uh, that was it. How he, old were you? I was a teenager, yeah. Like the nerve of him. Yeah, like, so. you know. Yeah, he, just, just so you know, he, he kicked me in the back as I was walking away. It's- and instead oh of goodness. doing what I usually do as How a kid. How degrading. Yeah, as, as a kid, I would cry and stuff and I would get mad and I would, you know, and but this time I literally had no emotion. I turned back and I looked at him like, dude, did you really just do that? And did then he, I just walked away. He and didn't he, laugh? He didn't say a damn He's thing. Sorry, I'm being ridiculous right now. Because that's not funny. So your war I won't fight hit me. Just hit me. The stronger I become, your time is up. Oh, deceived after all this time. Keep running just to stay behind. I'm dying to feel alive. The clock keeps ticking, but I can't die. Step down, go down, hit me. Yeah, and, and I, again, that's why I keep going back to, to, yeah, to that scene because it. it's like, I get it. because at that point it's like, hit me. Like, what are you doing? Like, what, 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 what is this back relationship? At any point, you think? Yeah, I think that he got that. I think that he got that because when but I look back. Did you feel that? Did yes. you feel that? Yes. I look back and I'm like, you're acting like a fool. Like, what you just did, you really think was okay? And he didn't say a word, and that was the last time he ever laid eyes on me. And shortly afterwards, um, you know, we, we separated. Him and my mom uh, separated because he had a midlife crisis. Deceived after all this time, keep running just to stay behind. I'm dying to feel alive. Keep running. I'm These are lyrics, alive, honestly, baby. guys, um, the lyrics are, are very profound and they're, they're very interesting. And you're right, they can be applied to pretty much anything. But, and that's why I think it's so brilliant because it can be. But while wow, keep running, and like I said, it all depends on what you've been through in your life. Absolutely. Depends on how, because that's how I'm relating to the song, because I'm thinking about my own situations and right. how there's certain lyrics here that are kind of triggering those 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 mental responses. Gotcha, you know? gotcha, yeah, baby. Yeah, very cool. Good job, guys. Great stuff, great sound. Keep it up. Uh, hope to Good hear more fans. from you, for sure. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Thank you so much for the continued love and support, baby. It's okay. Well done. All right, baby. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction video. And if you did, Please give us a thumbs up, comment below, do not leave without subscribing, but also do share content as well. That's right. Click the bell, get notified. Yeah. Check out the description for all the links to the videos and the band and to our Patreon and everything else. And as always, as always, <laughs> keep it metal. But if I have a bigger, love you guys. Love y'all. Love you guys. Bye, man. Bye, everyone. Bye. I'm talking to my wife. Do you mind? That's not your wife. That's my wife. What did you just say? What did you just say? You do not look at her. You do not speak to her. I am speaking to you! What have you done to my wife? What? You will not speak to my wife again! Now. Who are you? Say your Fucking name! Lewis. Is this a game? Or do you actually think you're me? I, I am.
Yeah, it can also leave a white stain as phlegm, so I don't want that. It's not semen. You know that phlegm can leave. Oh my god, just drink the goddamn fucking water. <laughs>